Hello and welcome. I'm so thrilled that you joined the 40 day beauty and health inside out challenge. I think I said it all upside down, but it doesn't matter. I'm so thrilled that you are starting this 40 day challenge with me. And I cannot wait to share all the the things that I have learned over the years about health and beauty and how to really turn health inside out. You know, um, I just want to share this with you because you will understand why I'm so passionate about this. When I was 18 years old, I moved to Japan. I didn't speak the language. It was a move from, you know, from Peru to Japan and I didn't want to really be there. It was just really hard. Life was just too hard when I was 18 years old. Um, broken up with my boyfriend because I moved to Japan, so I got depressed. It was really tough. Plus, I didn't speak the language, so it was just too much. So I, the way that I got to manage all that feeling bad was by smoking, drinking alcohol, and eating as if my stomach didn't have a bottom. Yeah, it was really bad, really bad. So from, I always been, you know, small frame and it has to do with the fact that when I was growing up, I, I was a gymnast and I practiced gymnastics for many years. So I have an athletic body and I, in, in high school, I was in, a, in the athletic team and so I always been really fit. I also have played basketball and I played volleyball. So when I moved to Japan, I didn't have that, um, uh, the sports in my life anymore. So it, it became all work and it was just, I was felt so heartbroken. I felt so heartbroken because when I moved there, my boyfriend said, you know what, you're gone. And I found a girlfriend, so this is it for us. And this is the boyfriend that I thought that I will marry. And you can imagine, you know, an 18 year old, so in love, so heartbroken. So my solution was stuffing myself with food. I will just eat and eat and eat, even if I was not hungry. So very quickly, it was in a matter of months that I arrived in Japan. I started to become, you know, chubbier and chubbier until one day when I was 19 years old, I realized that I couldn't fit in the biggest size of pants I have ever wore. And I weighed myself and I was 67 kgs, 60, 67 kilos for my frame. Is actually quite a lot I'm not that tall I'm only um, one meter 54 centimeters tall okay I'm quite petite so with 67 kgs on top that is a lot I was very tired if I run a little bit my heart felt like it was going to jump out of my chest and it had to do also with the fact that I used to smoke I used to smoke one pack of cigarettes a day and my friends who know me for many years and they know that i've been in this health line for years they freaked out when i told them then i said well that's part of my that was part of my journey and i can empathize with people who smoke because i know what it's like and i know why i go into that i didn't feel good about myself you know and i felt really small and very lonely and the way to get rid of all of that was through smoking and drinking and eating and during this 40 days challenge we're gonna also talk about and we're gonna explore um, our inner self so we're gonna look at addictions we're gonna look at emotions because health is not just your physical body it's your mind it's your heart it's your spirit we're going to look at meditations. We're going to look at uh, spiritual practices, uh, connection with Mother Earth. It's going to be really, really juicy. And also you're going to get um, an insight on how you can revert your uh, current situation 
into a healthier situation. And we're going to do it step by step. You also going to learn about food. Now I got to share this with you in order to start this 40 day challenge. I wanted to put on weight and I wanted to increase the level of cellulite on my legs, on my butt. And it came out on my arms, which I didn't think that it was going to come in my arms. And I was like, Oh shit. Okay. But the thing is that there are ways I have learned ways and I've been practicing ways to turn all of these things around. So we're going to do it together. Okay. You, me together. Yeah. Great team. We can, we can do it. So I want you to write to me. I want you to post your messages and your questions. So then I know what interests you and what way you would like me to support you. That is the best way. Okay. And I will do my best to guide you and really share with you the, the decades of experience that I have on the health line. Um, I'm a hypnotherapist. I am a hypnosis instructor. I'm a Chota Shiatsu instructor. I am a Reiki master, second master. And I have um, got into many different modalities that I got involved with because there was a need in me to learn in order to heal myself. And I also, I, I love learning. I, I don't think I will ever stop learning. I will, some people call me a seminar junkie and I don't care <laughs> because I really love learning. And there's always something that I learn in any place that I go to. So the thing is that it is time to share all of this knowledge and all these skills with you and really put it to your service. And I know that as you learn and you practice, you will be also teaching other people. And together, we can create a beautiful domino effect. Think about this. Beautiful mind in a beautiful body, beautiful heart in a beautiful spirit. That's you. We're going to bring all these beautiful things that are about you, that makes you, whether you are a man, whether you are a woman, whether you are a teenager, whether you are in your 40s, in your 50s, 60s, it doesn't matter. You can always start wherever you are. Okay? And the first thing that I'm going to ask you is to commit to yourself. You are the only one who can do this for you. Even if I want to you know, really, I really want the best health and the, and the beauty and all of that for you, you got to want it for yourself. So you want it, I want it for you. That makes two people. And when two minds get together, spirit also comes together. So let's do this. I love you and I see you very soon. Bye. <laughs>